I know what you're thinking. What the heck is that? That is the Kinesis Advantage keyboard. It's the old one. This This is the new one. This is the Advantage 2 QD keyboard by Kinesis. This specific model happens to be the QWERTY Dvorak model. So it's got the keycaps with both QWERTY and Dvorak on the keys, and it shows very easily how you can switch between QWERTY and Dvorak mode by just hitting the program button and either F3 or F4. There's a myriad of features and functions about this keyboard. I'm gonna to touch on a couple of them and go in depth about one specific. Some of the cool features is you can remap every single key on this keyboard to another key. You can literally just go Remap key, 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 done. Suddenly you're swapping the A with the L. You're swapping the S with the F2 key. You're swapping all of your keys all over the place. You're going, I don't know what's going on. And it's no worries. You can reset it by holding down the program button, shift and F9. Resets everything back before you even touch it. It's like nothing ever happened. Another basic feature of this keyboard is if you hit program and then either F5, 6, or 7, it puts it either into Mac, PC, or Windows mode. You can also adjust the layout of these keys down here. It's mostly just your control and your alt keys. If you hit program F5, it puts it into Mac mode, which changes your control keys into command keys, turns this window key into a control key, and this key into your alt or option key. If you hit program F6, it becomes controls and alt on both sides because you don't need a Windows key because, well, the idea is that you're not in Linux. It says PC, but it's basically anything that's not Windows. The default is program F7, which puts it into Windows mode, which shows the layout here. Control keys, alt on one side, and the Windows key on the other. It takes a few days to get used to this if you switch over to this keyboard. I mean, it is ergonomic by design, so unlike most ergonomic keyboards, which are a little bit wider to compensate for the dome shape, this one fits in the same footprint as any other keyboard you'll have on your desk. I know some of you are out there going, I need my 10 key. That's, that's something I absolutely need, because I use that extensively, and that, it's okay. There's this button right here, you hit that button, and suddenly this light comes on, you're now in keypad mode. Keypad mode changes these keys into your numpad. And one button turns it on, one button turns it off. It's not very hard. Though I do have to say that if you accidentally hit this and you're not paying attention, and you start typing, you're like, why, what's going on here? It, just click it, it'll be fine. It's good to go. The really awesome feature of this keyboard that I want to mention is the V drive. Basically, there is a two meg flash on this keyboard that you can access via your computer. You have to put it into super user mode, or as I like to call it, deus mode. But basically, you hit program, shift, and escape. And then from there, you can hit program F1, and you'll access the V drive. It'll automatically mount to your system. If you're in Windows, it'll show up as a removable drive. If you're in Linux, it'll just pop up in your system. If you're on Mac, it should just pop into the desktop like you've mounted any other drive you plugged in via USB. The keyboard still works as well. So it's not like you switch in between, like, oh no, how can I use my keyboard? No, nope, still works, it's great. From there, there's gonna be two folders. The one I wanna to touch on is the firmware folder. The firmware folder is where you do firmware upgrades. The procedure for upgrading the firmware is really simple. You copy the firmware file that you get from Kinesis into that folder. You make a copy of it. You change the copy's name to update.upd. You hit program shift and U for update. And I know what you're thinking. If I'm in Dvorak, will it be the U key or the U key? And when I did it, it was the U key which only Dvorak typers are gonna understand what I just did there. That's okay. We're talking to you as it is. Cause this keyboard, it's Dvorak right out of the box. It's fantastic. It even comes with really cool wrist pads so you can have ease and comfort in your usage of this keyboard. Comes with a key puller. There's a bunch of other really awesome features on this keyboard. If you happen to get one, read the manual. It's a very detailed and thorough manual and I highly recommend reading it. I'd like to thank Kinesis for providing me with the Advantage 2 QD and giving me this opportunity to talk to you guys about it. Uh, I've had this keyboard for almost five years and I, I can say that it's, it's definitely changed my life a little bit. Uh, it took me probably about two weeks to get used to this layout. Some people pick it up really quickly, others takes a little bit longer. Uh, they highly recommend that if you're switching to this keyboard, don't switch back and forth between another keyboard and this one. Just stick to it. If you have a lot of work to do, don't switch to this unless you absolutely have to. Because the, the more work you have to do, the more frustrated you're gonna get 
when you're trying to randomly hit keys, you're like, oh, where is that key? Like, I can't tell you how many times I tried to hit escape or hit the tilde key, and I ended up hitting the plus equal sign. And I'm like, why is that key there? That's confusing me. That's, no, it's it's down here now, and it's, it uh, took a little bit of getting used to. But that being said, I like the improvements that they've done overall. I mean, the layout is effectively the exact same. But it's just a few details that make this a lot better than the old one. I really like the Cherry MX Browns, so I got the same as that. You can also get this in reds. All the F function keys and the program key, uh, they're, all, uh, they're all mechanical switches. I've used a lot of ergonomic keyboards in my life. Uh, I have to say, this is by far my favorite usable keyboard that uh, I've ever had my hands on. And the only time I switch off is when I'm playing games. Thank you for watching, and you guys, you can always, you know, click those buttons down there. Like, you can dislike, you can hit the subscribe button, leave a comment. It's all down there, somewhere below. Anyway, catch you guys next time. The 